I'd say it's time you begun. It's 6 39 p.m. I'm just out the shower. Okay, I'm gonna keep it up here because I don't want to be getting flagged on YouTube. So, two things I need to do this afternoon. Three things I need to do this afternoon. I need to finish writing my paper for class. I need to record a verse. And, baby, I need to finish this outfit. So, I'm working on some pants. I start off with this little square right here. And then I'll make a whole bunch of squares and I sew them, crochet them together like that. And then I make a whole bunch of them and sew them together for one pants leg. Oh my God, it's going to be so fine. Then over here, I make a whole bunch of these large ones, the size of my head, nine all around granny squares. That's what they call them, granny squares. And I make a whole bunch of them and I make it into a dress. Now, I haven't crocheted any of this together yet, but I'm thinking about doing this pattern right here. Or should I just, you know what I'm saying? Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that's, that's big sexy. I'm sorry. That is so cute. So, you know, this is a little... That'll be the top part. This will be the bottom. I actually have to do the back too. And then I have to sew it together some type of way. Now, this is my first time doing a dress like this. And my first time doing a pair of pants like this. But we're going to get it, baby. And I have a deadline because I really want to wear that dress to the Akira fashion show. Okay? So I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how I set up to record. I just showed y'all how I set up pants to be crocheted. And I just showed you how I set up a dress to be crocheted. Now I'm going to show you how I set up to record a verse. Bow. Be back. Okay, so I'm at my computer. Um, I don't think this is the best idea for showing y'all how to do this because usually people have the recording right on the you dig right so i could hook it up to the tv and then maybe y'all will be able to see it better but anyway so say hypothetically you already got your music ready you know i'ma just matter of fact let's take this down from here so we can get up close and personal Okay, so this is this my paper I'm working on. Ignore that. Okay, so usually I would go to YouTube to MP3 if I want to do a remix, which is what I'm working on. And you could use this one. You could use the first one. This is cool. I've used this a few times. Um, you just go and grab you a YouTube link. Let's see. Um, you're going to say glow instrumental. I'm just picking something random. There's me. <laughs> okay. You got the yeah glow instrumental hypothetically. And you're going to click share. But you're not going to share it. You're just going to copy the link. And you're going to go here. Oh my god, I'm so used to having a what you call control <laughs> control P. Oh uh, uh hold on. I'm used to having a mouse. There we go. Control V tweaks. Then you're gonna click convert. I mean convert and then download. And you're going to have this pop-up box. It's going to say site not secure, but it already downloaded. It's in your thing here. And then, you know, um, it's already on. It, I've already downloaded the one I want to do. I mean, that's a good beat. 
Why not? Kind of dope. Could do that one, but that's not the one I'm working on. So you over here, um, and then you woo 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 woo. We're gonna do new project because that's something else. Um, I gotta turn on my wifi. I kind of keep it off because um, I don't want no drama. I don't want no drama. So basically, <laughs> the extra steps I'm doing right now, you don't have to do. I actually had downloaded the uh, beat that I wanted to use. I did it, the YouTube to MP3 thing on my phone and just emailed it to myself. So that way, um, I don't have to do all this stuff on my computer. I don't, I don't like doing nothing extra on my computer. I like to just go on here, download it, and get to it. I mean, download it from my uh, email address and just get to it because, I mean, yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm warming me up a baked potato because the nigga hungry. Let me go ahead and check on this. It's looking like some. Okay, that food is not quite ready yet. I had to warm it up a little bit longer. Um, oh, my screen is dirty. Jesus. Okay, we're going to back up some. Yeah, back it up a little bit. All right, so I got my two beads from my email that I wanted to get. Because like I said, I downloaded mine on my phone and I emailed them to myself. Now I'm going to disconnect from the Wi-Fi. So I don't have no... I don't need no slowing down. There's famous Kiki. Um, there only no slowing down while I'm trying to work. So, anyways, here's your empty slate. If you use Reaper, it should be the same way if you use Pro Tunes or whatever you may use. But you just go ahead and you grab the beat and you throw it on there like that. You just code it, grab it. I mean it's pretty basic you should know how to do that portion of picking it up and pulling it over make sure you pull it all the way to the front so it's there okay so now you got it in there um you see so track you see midi controls this all right okay i always forget all of this stuff all right so now what i will proceed to do now is okay my squadron i had to take me a little bit of break because baby the fool was calling me okay no, I'm sorry. My bad. Where's my box? So, I used, huh? Got it from Guitar Center. It got all the fixings in it. I usually keep it in the box because I don't want it getting messed up. But here is my mic stand. Bye bye. There's not enough room for my food up here for this party. So. Um, I'm just going to move it on top of the computer for now. Here's my little box that connects the sound to the computer. Okay. Here is my cords. So this is one cord. This connects the box to the computer. This part goes in the box. As such. Wham. And uh, this one goes into the computer. It's your regular, like, USB. So, um, why am I being slow right now? There we go. So, you see, we got power. You saw the little, heard the little, do, 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 do. That's off. That's on. Okay. Then, we have... This cord. This connects the microphone into the focus right. You hook that in into there. And this is the other end. You can just hook it right into the first one. Okay. 
Now, you have your headphones, which I always do my headphones last, 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 because I don't want them to fall. But I do have this little sound box that I got on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Best if best 20 best sorry best ooh. wow hey that's better now you can see lower uh ghostbusters okay best 20 bucks you'll ever spend because first of all yes it it blocks out all of the sound from coming in all of that outside noise we're in a very open room and if you don't have a studio 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 then this will be perfect for you okay this little box you can open it or you could close it because like some people just use just a pop filter my bad camera opted out so i took it as a break to get me a couple bites in but anyways uh if you just want you know what i'm saying it's to go around it so the sound could be enclosed then that's cool but i use the whole thing all together just like that it fits right in you put that over your mic lift it up a little bit Make sure your mic is to the adjustment where you want it to be at. When I'm in the real studios, like when if I like go pay for a studio session, I stand up. When I'm at home, I'm sitting down, I'm getting comfortable. Okay. Ain't no comfortable when you're paying $60, $70 an hour for studio time. Because, baby, you gotta put your energy and everything into that. $50, I don't even make that an hour, baby. Okay? Yeah. Anyways, so now that everything is set up. Let me show you up close and personal. I'm gonna flip the camera around. So, as I stated, here's the thing that we talked about. The mic is up under it. I'll open it so you can peekaboo it. You see her in there, the way below? You could lift it up some more though if you want. So it's just, oop, all depend on how you wanna do it. Here's the cord that we talked about that connects to over here, okay? Here's this cord that connects into the back of that cord. And that's pretty much all you need to get where you need to go. Okay. So then we now have everything set up. And basically you just make you some more line items. So you can record, you know, your main vocals, yo. Um, if you want to make a separate one for just the hook or the chorus or whatever, unless you're doing a whole freestyle all the way through, which is probably what I'm going to do. And then this one is for your ins and outs, the number three. You can mark them all if you want to. The fourth one is for your ad libs, of course. Make sure you name your project. I'm going to call man the Quickie Remix. Bow. Okay. And baby, from here. You is ready to record, okay? You are ready to record from here. When you when you recording, you pick you a line, okay? And you click that, and that'll start the recording, okay? Make sure you got your marker down here. Oh, and baby, we forgot one more thing. We for okay, another couple bites. All right, now we have our headphones that's what i forgot you got the left and you got your right if you want to wear it the opposite wear it the opposite if you want to wear it behind your head wear it behind your head if you want to do one of them hey 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 you can too but baby listen so here's the end of your cord you plug it in as such it literally has headphones on it you could turn this up and you could turn it down. I suggest you keep it down when you're recording so there's not a whole lot of feedback. But other than that, baby, after this, you're ready to rock and rub, okay? So. You hear how loud those headphones is? Imagine. Just imagine. Yeah. Okay, it's a lot of D, yeah. Uh. So like I said, you hold down that. Oh, my bad. You hold down that, oopsie. I don't want to edit anything yet, babies. 
Okay, you have to have that on. You have to have this on in order to record. Ain't nothing recording. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the line of thee. Yeah. You know, I'm starting to feel really like I'm in the mood for a quickie. Yeah. Okay. So now you have your wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You have your recording. That's the first line. I mean, you know, it don't have to be nothing too crazy. I'm just kind of showing you how it go. I'm going to actually record, but not on camera. I mean, I can, but kind of need my phone so we can, you know, tango. Can y'all hear it? Quickie, quickie, quickie. <laughs> All right, y'all. I don't know. Hope you like this video. I don't know if it helps, if it didn't. Or, you know, you just get a view. Or, I mean, period, just get a view of, like, what I do. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, new freestyle coming soon. Stay tuned for it. Oh, wash machine's done. That's one of the four things I had to do. I know you was thinking like, what four things she got to do? I got to wash clothes. I got to finish a paper. I got to record a freestyle. Eat. And finish them outfits. Yeah. Yeah. Busy girl in a busy world. Ow. Okay. I recorded my verse. I did my stacks. And now I'm finna do a little bit of ad -libs. Okay. Hello? You coming through or no? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Come here. Period.